Yes, sir. Blessings, blessings, my people. Blessings each and every one. Just a check in, come forgive you guys. You know, couple updates. Hope everybody been blessed here. Bless us always. First time over the Just Blex TV. Just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell all you not even have to make a call. So for those going out there in the street today, Saturday, we just ask the Almighty to protect the item. And in the meantime, we we'll just look out on the item. Well, peeps, man shot and killed up Swallowfield. Yes, my people, star. Serious thing I go on. Well, peeps, yesterday come like yesterday, the type of bloody, you know. Bloody upon a different level. So look at the screen. This is a photograph of a man said to be known as Andrew, who was reportedly fatally shot by unknown assailants. Yes, my people, in Swallowfield, right? And this incident happened on the 7th of March, 2024. Right, my people, in St. Andrew. So just as a peeps, we don't know where I go on, where this I come from. But you we know that Swallowfield is a place more while it was quiet. You know, and more while things are going down there, not even put to the news feeds, you know, or the news articles. But anyway, we we'll move over to where a Jamaican teacher stabbed to death, allegedly by Jamaican husband in Canada. So a Jamaican teacher was stabbed to death, allegedly by her husband, who is also a Jamaican in Van, Toronto, Canada, on Wednesday, the 64 year old Estella Wheeler. Her husband, Cheva Wheeler, 68, has been charged with second degree murder. Right, my people? So that's a guan power, that's you know. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Her husband, you know, took her three pints. Dirt the woman. I would just say, right now, yeah, you my people style. General relationship come like relation boat. So prominent PR professional Marcia Erskine dies at 67. Right, my people, so distinguished public relations practitioner. Yes, my people, Marcia Erskine has died. It's understood. Miss Erskine passed away suddenly at her home on Wednesday night. She was 67 years old. She was a professional communicator with over 30 years of experience along with public relations. Erskine also had an esteemed career in journalism. Right, my people? Jesse B. Star. Condolences goes on. Moving over to where two men shot in Wildman Street, Alman Town. Yes, but it looked like one man dirt. Yeah, one man out of the two dirt. Right, my people? Jatsy B. Yes, so a man goes by the alias Festus. Yes, my people? Fatally shot, wounded. Yeah, fatally wounded in Alman Town yesterday evening. Yes, my people? Jatsy B, the local place, them. Um, Take your time and get hot up and hot up and hot up. Yes, it just gone sky high. Moving over again, peeps, to where, yes, man shot and killed. Yama yeah, people in Bay Shore Park, East Kingston. Right, my people? Yeah, man, and this incident happened, you know, yeah, that's the last night. But we just say, peeps, no one is safe, you know. No one is safe. No one is safe at all. You have to just give thanks every morning when you wake up and see say you have life, health and strength. Right, my people? We just going to move over. Witnesses testify in coroner's inquest into Mandeville businessman's death. Right, so the coroner's inquest into the 2018 death of Mandeville businessman Jason Neal continued in the coroner's court in Mandeville on Thursday with the testimony of two witnesses. The father-in-law of Mr. Neal was questioned by the attorney for the family, K.D. Knight. Right, my people, to get more on this, go over to TVJ, Jamaica Radio. So, Jamaican man wanted in Florida for murder, arrested in Pennsylvania. Right, so a Jamaican national who was on the run after fatally shooting a man in Daytona Beach, Florida, was arrested in Pennsylvania on Tuesday. Danita Simpson, 25, was wanted on first degree murder and aggravated battery charges. Yeah, my people, this is uh, the man. 
is accused of killing 24-year-old Daniel Williams in September last year during a confrontation over a woman. Police say Simpson was also wanted for beating his pregnant girlfriend with a broomstick. It's reported that the men had a history of confrontations because Simpson was in a relationship with the mother of Williams' children. Right, my people? That a guampa. What a guan? You know? So on September 10, witnesses told the police that Simpson and Williams got into a fight outside an apartment complex. Both fell to the ground. Simpson then got up, pulled out a gun and shot Williams twice. Right, my people, so like him, they really make up his mind, say, I'm going to take the man three points. Well, you hear me if you do the time, you know, because you commit the crime. Moving over to where ex-boyfriend suspected of killing Tara then is slapped with murder charge. So Anthony Spliffy McNeil, who is alleged to have killed his 16-year-old ex-girlfriend Tara Alicia Dennis and wounded her boyfriend, has been slapped with a murder charge along with four other offenses. Right, my people? Yeah, I'm just a skip and go through, you know? And that will do, you know? Yeah, man, to get more on this, you can just go back to Jamaica Observer. Moving over, sections of Rocky Point Clarendon under curfew. A 48-hour curfew has been imposed in sections of Rocky Point Clarendon. The curfew commenced yesterday at 6 p.m. and will end at 6 p.m. on Sunday, March 10. The police say the imposition stems from an upsurge in violence in the areas of concern, which has resulted in murders and shootings and an escalation of gang-related activities, according to the police, without intervention. It is anticipated that violence will increase within the local and uh, spread to neighboring communities. The boundaries of the curfew are north along Shearer's Lane from the intersection with Rocky Road to Bunchy Corner at the eastern boundary, east along Bunchy Main Road from the intersection with Shearer's Lane to the intersection with Beach Road at the southern boundary, so south along Beach Road from the intersection with Bunchy Main Road to the intersection with Rocky Road at the western boundary, west along Rocky Road from the intersection with Beach Road to the intersection with Shira's Lane at the northern boundary. Right, my people? Yeah, man, so just be careful on that side. Moving over, thieves escape with over 7 million Jamaican dollars from Portland wholesale. The police are searching for a group of thieves who broke into a wholesale in Portland, making off with more than 7 million Jamaican dollars in cash. The incident occurred Thursday in the community of Oak Bay. It's reported that business operator locked up her establishment sometime after 8 p.m. Thieves later broke in and removed two vaults with more than 7 million Jamaican dollars in cash. They also stole 150 boxes of assorted cigarettes right my people yeah man i try to tell you you know so right you know the money i, I, I take from the chime people him the money now go link the people with them know so have license for you, my weird upon them jaja so peeps yes a man arrested at courts by police after removing two laptops right so look at the screen the man in the black shirt yes he got arrested for the stealing, right, my people. So this man same went to courts. Me not a basketball court, you know, peeps, or tennis court. Me not a courts, you know, we sell appliances and all these things. Yeah, my people. So the man same want two laptop. The man just went in and go take them out. Well, police just see me have to get him out. So peeps still searching for her missing daughter, right, Shante Ali. Samuel, so now I know that female where well, this is her mother and trust me she's going through a lot of pain right now and we just need prayers for this female yes right yes anybody out there can pray for this female Janu it will be grateful so peeps missing child Beyonce Dakers 15 year old Beyonce Dakers of Belmont District St. Andrew who has been missing since Wednesday March 6 she's a brown complexion she's of slim built and about 5 feet 7 inches tall last seen dressed in a light blue blouse a dark blue tunic and a red tie and a pair of black shoes if seen just contact the near police station peeps yes female goes by the name fiona got over two thousand usd for body good yes and peeps 
<laughs> the relatives of body good only received 500 usd right my people are you know who is body good body good was the wheel who got shot and killing sent and where he got thrown from a vehicle right my people yes so really and truly when the man dead them still a try to <laughs> Jaja, the female need for go down, you know. Yeah, man, we not even say come down. She need for go down today. You see what I say? Yeah, man. But anyway, my people, you don't know the whole measurement too, you know. I just want you guys just stay, you know. Yeah, man, I just share your comments in the section below. Because I know none of you guys don't ugly like Jankro. Up top, blessing. You know, from me say just blacks ain't no stressing. I am out, without a doubt. The east, west, north, and the south, up top. And them for no side, Ja Ahmed, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the healings are trying for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?